What up, everybody? It's Tibas again. We're, uh, this is the last thing we're going to do for the Daratoku um, reviews of the Gashapons. These are pretty sick, I'm going to say once again. And we got a whole bunch of uh, little uh, band sets, I guess you'd say. I think it's, um, let's see what it is. They're all different, I believe, but there's... Let's see. Yeah. Got a guitarra, conga, bongo, sombrero, and maracas. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty sick. So you got enough pieces. And these are all, I figured these are all separate Gashapon um, sets or whatever because they all came with different little pamphlets. So yeah, that makes sense for each one. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. But uh... Yeah, this is pretty sick. You get a sombrero and maracas, which is pretty cool. And let me um, get these open. Tape down. Not a minute. Oh. All righty. Bear with me. Bear with me. We're gonna hook somebody up. Guess we're gonna make our uh, little female. It's pretty cool. You heard of the Maraca, Maraca Queen. Well, I'm not sure how the how these hats are supposed to fit. Well, almost. Hmm. That works somewhat. Yep. There we go. Got her hat on. Her sombrero. And I love they give it like a, a Mexican Spanish vibe or whatever. Oh, yeah, this one, this figure, she seems to have a little trouble with her arms for some reason. Yeah. So she's got, this is a party. This is a, just a party waiting to happen. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. I love these things. These are the coolest little gas sets I've ever seen. Oh. oh, she took a spill. Yeah, she's weird. She doesn't want to stand very well. But we're gonna make this happen somehow. There we go. Oh. So, oh. I don't know why, but we're gonna get that hat to sit right there, and we're gonna get her to stand a little bit. Okay, there we go. And let's hook up somebody else with another. We'll do the, the congas next. The tape really well. Wow, it's just not gonna fly out. So we got that going. And come with little stools. So that's pretty neat. So a little conga guy. The drumming out a beat. So that's pretty cool. There we go. Give it a pose a little bit better. And uh, here's the, oop, the conga. Nice detail for a little accessory. Really nice detail. Really nice. They're pretty cool. I like the accessories because they can kind of, uh, I think they can pretty much go with just about anything, you know, as far as a three inch really super articulated line or whatever. With, uh, you know, old school uh, Microman and stuff like that. Any of that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty sick. So I'm playing the conga, and now we're gonna get somebody hooked up with, uh, I guess, the guitar. So let's go ahead and open up a guitar. I don't know where I put my handy dandy knife. I think it's back here somewhere. Give me a minute. journey around the room and get this ripped open. So I was so stoked when I saw this set. It was pretty cheap. I think I paid maybe 20 bucks or something for this whole set. So it wasn't too much money. But yeah, there we go. Now let's hook up this guy with the little guitar. There's no strings, which is pretty funny. So it's 
Gotta, whoop. My hands will fall out. That the position is just right. Okay. Whoop. And this is the trick that I learned that I kind of didn't fix in the last video. Check this out. Okay, whoop. This guy's just falling to pieces. Falling to pieces. All right, check this out. Had these in the wrong way, so yeah. When I first reviewed these. I'm gonna put the longer piece, stick it out. So, there we go. That way these stick in and you don't have to worry about the chest piece coming off, so yeah. There you go, there you have it. Let me just fix this up real quick. Cause I wanna, I wanna get them jamming. They deserve to have a most righteous jam. Oh, give me a minute. There we go. I don't know why we're going to make our Morocco girl stand up, but we are. We're going to make her work tonight, so yeah. But that's pretty cool. That works. And last but not least, we'll get um, maybe the bongo player. We'll have a bongo player. So that we have full-on rhythm section. Well, they're going to have a good rhythm going. They're going to have the, the maracas, very percussive. The, the conga. Or the congo. Oh, I like how it comes with a stand. Okay, I was wondering how this is going to work. So yeah, you got a stand for your bongos and congos and bongos. And there you go. So they could do like some Santana type jam or something. That'd be pretty cool. I've been listening to a lot of Santana lately. So yeah, I've been digging it. So, so you got the whole percussion thing going. And... Get him to sit. Oh. Alright. It's a little funky. A little bit funky, but I'm going to try to get him to, to sit. Not so lopsided, at least. Jeez. Hold on. not be so wonky but this might just be the way it is okay let's make him sit yeah I, I think that's a problem I'm... yeah working against myself here <laughs> but yeah there we go so yeah I got the whole band jamming that's pretty cool got the Morocco girl, he got, yeah, that's awesome. But we still got a sombrero left. And we still got another bongo and congo. And another guitar, so it's cool. So you got enough instruments for everybody. And that, that was cool. I kind of planned this out that way. Um, well, I wanted to get the moped set because I figured I could have a two-piece if I got the moped set. And then when I saw the horse set, because it, when I first started trying to order these, I didn't see there's a little maracas. I didn't um I didn't think I'd be able to couldn't find the horse set yet. And um oh, and there she goes again. Taking another spill. I think she's had enough uh quite a few surbases tonight. So she really she really thought whoop. Little hats going everywhere. But she seems to be not wanting to stand very well at all. I think I'm gonna get her to Stand. Could just be me having a lack of posing skills, but yeah. But she could just be top heavy because of the hat. Jeez. Anyways, this is a cool set. I like it. I think it's pretty funny. And I think it's pretty unique because that's the one thing ever since I started, like even before I, I ever tried to make my own toy reviews or do anything like that. I would watch all these channels back in the day doing the same old generic reviews of stuff that you would just see everywhere. That, you know, you can see Marvel Legends crap everywhere. You can see 
you know, I just wanted to do some reviews that were unique and uh, just different, you know, something different. Bring something to the table, something a little different. And, uh, yeah, that's always been my goal, is just to, because the way I look at it, you know, as, as, as I don't really watch a lot of toy reviews, but I like to, you know, make toy review videos. But, uh, anyways, I don't know, if, if I was going to watch, want to watch a video, I want to see something unique like this, something I've never seen before. And I hadn't seen these before, I found them on eBay, just trolling eBay, so I thought that was cool. And, yeah, I wanted to bring this to attention to many of my viewers and other people out there that maybe just might stumble upon it. And, yeah, these are cool little sets. Little Gashapon sets from Daratoku and by Epoch. But yeah, there you go. So if you can read Japanese. Unless it's in a different language and I just don't know. But there's a number on the back, all kinds of stuff. But yeah, really cool set and I like it a lot. It's funny, it's hilarious. And this video is kind of over 11 minutes, so it's going to take forever to upload. But anyways, thanks for watching y'all. And I just wanted to share this with y'all because it's cool and fun. Anyways, thanks for watching, and yeah, hopefully more videos on the way soon, very soon. More tomorrow popping up. Uh, thanks for watching, y'all, and have a good night. Laters.